This episode of Film Linen is brought to you by SF Subtitles by Script Fighter. Smells like body spray in an old ham sandwich. Uh, meow? Hey guys, welcome to Film Linen, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning good. And I just want to start off by saying I apologize for using that original Sonic design in the start, but <laughs> couldn't help myself. So no doubt you noticed from the title, the thumbnail, and the thing that just happened like five seconds ago, we are doing the Sonic the Hedgehog title card from the trailers. Now to do this, as usual, we'll be using both Cinema 4D and After Effects and joining them together in holy matrimony. But before we do that, we're going to talk about our sponsor, SF Subtitles from Script Fighter with Grant in a mini captain's hat for some reason. Righty dokey, matey bloke, frappled, salty, sea dog amigo, skipjack, jockstrap, piano tuner? Did any of that make sense? No, it was gibberish, but you understood it because of the subtitles down below. And more importantly, thanks to SF Subtitles from Scriptwriter, the easy and convenient way to add subtitles to your videos in Adobe After Effects. With SF Subtitles, you have a tool that allows you to simply import or type in your scripted text, and with the click of a button, SF Subtitles populates a text layer with fully adjustable keyframes that contains each of your scripted lines. It's simply a matter of adjusting them into place as needed, and kablooey! Your video is now fully subtitled, and even if I'm speaking complete nonsense, you can still understand it! Fantastic! You even have the ability to export that in several popular subtitle formats, like this one. Well, isn't that scrumptious? So, if you're interested in making the business of adding subtitles to your projects as quick and painless as possible, you need SF Subtitles from Script Fighter. Click the link below and check it out for yourself. Now, back to you, Grant, you salty old ragtag ragamuffin. Now in order to complete this title card, you will need the template download pack, which is available at filmlearning.com slash downloads. And that will have everything you need. It has the project file for After Effects, has all the Cinema 4D files, and it even has the fonts. So it's all ready to go. And that's it guys, this one is pretty easy to accomplish. So let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got the Sonic template open and ready to go. If we check out a preview, you can see what we're working with. No, not too bad. Now gang, this does have a few steps to get it ready, but it's actually pretty easy to get the final result, so let's get started. You can already see here I have got Cinema 4D files marked Sonic Title, Hedgehog Title, and Sonic Echo. We'll be editing all three, one at a time. So let's start with Sonic Title. Let's select it, head to Edit, click Edit Original, and let's head into Cinema 4D. Okay, we're in Cinema 4D, and if I hit Preview, you can see that this project only contains the Sonic text and a camera animation. Simple, right? To change the text, all I have to do is open this, type in another title. Done. Let's then hit preview. Yep, works fine. You can now hit save and move on. Back in After Effects, and let's follow that up by clicking the Hedgehog title and editing that over in Cinema 4D as well. Same deal, gang. Open up the text project here, type in your new text, Bam, if we hit preview, that's two out of three, done. Last step, back in After Effects. We'll edit the echo. You know what to do now though. Over in Cinema, we're gonna open up this cloner object and then typing in the matching text from our Sonic title right here. Done. The clone is essentially creating a tunnel of 3D text for the camera to travel down. Cool, huh? All done now. Let's save and head back to After Effects. Back in After Effects now and it's time to render these passes out, which will make the final render load way easier. So for this, all we need to do is drop each of these Cinema 4G project files into its own comp like so. One, two, and three. We'll then set their Cinema 4D settings to standard final. And once they load, we'll add each of them to the render queue, like so. Now once they're all added, 
we're going to click on lossless and select either PNG sequence or QuickTime. Either is good. I'm going to just uh, go with QuickTime. And then all we've got to make sure is from the drop down menu here, we select RGB plus alpha. We'll hit OK and we'll follow that up by doing that for all three. Once that's done, we'll hit render. And of course, I'm going to skip ahead to these files already done and imported back into our project. Now that they're imported, it's an easy switch out. So let's start with the echo text. In the final comp, let's open up Sonic and select this file right here. Let's hold Alt, grab our new echo text and drop it on. Bam. Next, Sonic title. Same thing, select the Sonic text right here, hold the Alt key and drag and drop our new Sonic text on top. Bam. Lastly, let's open up the Hedgehog comp in our final comp, just this one right here. Select the Hedgehog text, hold Alt, grab our new Hedgehog text and drop it in on top. Bam. All three are now replaced and we only have to do one more thing and this is done. And this is the hardest part too, gang, but relax, it's not that hard. Let's open up the comp called Saber. You'll see a Sonic title layer in here, as well as a white solid that contains this Saber animation, which we're gonna turn off right now. Now, we're going to replace this Sonic text here with our new one, just like we did with our other one. Done. Now, with our new title selected, let's head up to layer and click Auto Trace. We want the entire work area, so just make sure your settings match mine, and let's hit OK. This is gonna create a new layer full of masks based on our Sonic title animation. And well, it's not gonna be perfect at all. You'll probably find if you scrub through the timeline that there's several masks that either do nothing or they just, they just come from nowhere. So for example, this one here. So all I'm gonna do is just scroll down to the bottom of our masks and just start deleting them like so. They're usually pretty easy to find because they stick to the bottom. Now just do that until all of your weird masks are gone. That's a bit better. Now you might see that this auto trace mask flickers a little bit too, but honestly guys, it doesn't matter too much. At least I'm ignoring it at the moment. I'm sure you could go in and fix all the little errors if you like, but for the sake of my sanity and the tutorial time, I'm just gonna move on. I'm now gonna trim this so that it starts on the same frame as our previous layer. This is mainly just because we don't need to save our animation until this point. So our last step here is pretty easy, gang. Firstly, we're gonna make sure we're on the exact same frame as our layer below. All I want you to do is click on the solid layer below this new one right here and copy the saber effect and paste it on our new layer. If we check out a preview, our new text should be animating nicely. And if we head back to our final animation comp and check out a preview, everything has been customized and changed. And that, my friends, is another title card template. Done. Out of all those steps, you can get something like this. So guys, that is my take on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie title card. As you can see, this one is really not that hard to put together. I actually think maybe they did the entire thing in After Effects. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was easy to do the camera move in Cinema 4D. Once again, guys, a big thank you to our sponsor, Script Fighter, and their awesome tool, SF Subtitles. If you want to check that out, guys, you can click that link down below. But for now, guys, that's all i got for you. I am still working on the Iron Man 3D model, so you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient for that. But if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I am posting some progress pics, so you can check out both of those links down below. And hey, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it, guys, and it does help out. If you do have a request, leave it down in the comments because I read them all. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film on an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got all my social media crap that I just mentioned before, as well as the Patreon if you want to help support us, or you can also click that join button below and support us directly in YouTube. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.